Of course, the conclusions of the World Trade Summit are being laid down and presented and published in the M8 Alliance Statement, which is kind of the conclusion of the meeting. But in addition, and we do have the uh, courts for action of the National Academies of Sciences, which are extremely powerful because they go to the national governments, they go to the international organizations, so they're very helpful in agenda setting. But in addition, of course, it's private conversations. And I remember a conversation when uh, the uh, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Germany uh, talked to me and said, well, antimicrobial resistance, what does this really mean? And uh, of course, I don't expect from a lawyer to really fully understand that. But hearing about it and hearing about the importance and then asking about it, and the result is that uh, this is now on the political agenda. So um, I think it's personal, personal interest and, and, and raising a curiosity about specific topics of people who would otherwise not get in contact, either with the people and persons and scientists, nor with the topics, I think is one important result. So it's the personal interaction in addition to the formal discussions, which uh, is important for a forum like the World Health Summit.